Like everybody, I suppose I, I was first wearing a bum bag to go abroad. And then I realised, actually, I, I still need all the important things around me when I'm in the UK. So why not wear them at home as well? You've always got all your vital things around you. And this system I devised myself because it's kind of expanded over the years. I used to have one, now I've got two, and they're on this kind of slide through thing with a strong leather belt rather than having one of those that you buy at you know, airport shops that stitch and then eventually the stitching break. So I've got a strong leather belt and it's now expanded to two. Um, but I've, got, I've always got with me, wherever I am, everything that's really important, no matter what I'm wearing or even if I take my coat off. Uh, I'm fairly secure as well. There are so many pouches and pockets in these. I can't actually remember what's in all of them, so go on, we'll have a look. Right, in this one, front pouch, 20 pence. That's probably all the money that I've got at the moment. I never keep money in these, money's always in my pocket. Uh, right, here we are, documents. Always got my passport on me, even when I'm at home. Photocopy of my passport. Spare passport photographs when you have to get visas and things in bonkers countries. My press accreditation for Russia in 2010. Um, don't know why that's still in there, but it is. My certificates of vaccinations from the BBC to show it, you know, that I've been jabbed for yellow fever and rabies and all that. Um, and what the heck's this? Oh, <laughs> the room key for my room at the Grand Hotel Kinshasa in uh, the former Zaire in the Congo. That's the hotel in When We Were Kings, where George Foreman stayed. It was called the in in Intercontinental at the time. And in Norman Mailer's book, The Fight. Um, I don't know why I still got I can always go back though. Which room was it? A very nice room, room 1751. Uh, a memory stick for my laptop. Um, cash point card and a credit card. Driving license, court card, NUJ card, something for a supermarket, uh, breakdown cover, uh, national rod license to go fishing, number of a taxi firm, organ donor card, something about uh, health cover when I'm in uh, foreign parts, uh, the classic racing motorcycle club membership card, a couple of pens, you always need pens, a map of London's tube, uh, an oyster card, and a family rail card for when I travel with the kids on the train. A packet of Rizzlers. Hmm, now why could you possibly have Rizzlers and cigarettes, Andy? I don't know. <coughs> In this one, we've got a torch. I've always got a torch because the electricity can go off in the UK just as easily as it can in the, the poor parts of the world. A spare key for me. Which motorbike is that? One of my motorbikes, the, the 883. A notebook, of course, always got to have a notebook. Some of those little nicotine lozenges for when you can't have a fag, which I'm on them all the time these days. Uh, some, some of me, what, business cards, if you like. Uh, and then the other one, the phone. Doggy poo bag for when Buster drops his guts and I've got to pick it up, I'll pick his up every time. Uh, yeah, more doggy poo bags. It's quite productive. Um, my BBC identity card, another memory stick for my laptop, a Swiss army knife, a police whistle, uh, a dongle for my laptop for me to hook up to the internet by the mobile phone network, not one but two padlocks, I can't think why I've got padlocks in there, ah, loads of lighters, you need loads of lighters don't you, pens, can't have enough pens, one of those things for your lips when they get chapped. Uh, an emery board for, oh, I had a war, that's what that was for. Hence the wart removal ointment. Uh, more stuff for chap lips. House keys. House keys for my friend's house in Derby. Another pen, another lighter. And finally, Ah, there's that secret one at the back. A book of matches for when my lighters run out. Some stamps. And a spare toothpick for my Swiss Army knife. Are you happy now? <laughs>